Could a ketogenic diet help with the treatment of pancreatic cancer? Well, a new mouse study suggests that maybe it can, and because of the results of that mouse study, there is now a human trial undergoing enrollment that will possibly show whether a ketogenic diet along with chemotherapy is an effective treatment for pancreatic cancer. Let's get into the science a little bit about this. I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and we've done some explorations at dietdoctor.com about ketogenic diets and cancer. Uh, one of my favorites was a podcast interview with Dr. Angela Poff, who really talked about it from a scientific perspective, what we know, what we don't know, what's exciting about the future, and it's clearly in its early stages. And we also have some, some educational guides and other material, but a lot of the excitement about using a ketogenic diet for treating cancer is, is basically how you flip the metabolic switch. So your body's not burning glucose for fuel, but burning fatty acids for fuel. And in that environment, many cancer cells cannot grow as well. Um, cancer cell metabolism is very different from normal cell metabolism, but they tend to be very dependent on glucose. Um, and they, they, it's interesting because they undergo what, uh, what's basically an inefficient way of producing energy, an anaerobic way of producing energy, even when plenty of oxygen is available. But what some, some studies show is that when you switch to burning fatty acids rather than glucose, that really disrupts the tumor's ability um, to get enough fuel and grow. Now, it's not true for all tumors. Um, and we talk about that in the in the podcast with Angela Poff. But now this study on pancreatic cancer looks pretty um, interesting, and and, and uh, I'm very excited to see what comes out next. So the the study in mice is ketogenic diet and chemotherapy combined to disrupt pancreatic cell metabolism and growth. It was published in the journal Med, which is part of uh, Cell, I guess. And they they outline um, their hypothesis and how. You know, they talk about the difference in metabolism, but what they showed was by, by putting mice on a ketogenic diet with chemotherapy, they were able to suppress tumor growth better and change the metabolism of the tumor. So the question is, does it also work in humans? So researchers at five centers, which are Honor Health in Scottsdale, USC in Los Angeles, New Vance Health in Connecticut, Atlantic Health System in New Jersey, and South Texas Accelerated Research Therapeutics in San Antonio. Those five institutions are enrolling up to 40 patients, and the enrollment is planned to go through June of 2023. And they're going to randomize people to the chemotherapy regimen plus a controlled diet or chemotherapy regimen plus a ketogenic diet and follow them to see how they progress. Now, the, you know, the chemotherapy regimen for pancreatic cancer has really sort of revolutionized um, survival of pancreatic cancer, but the median survival is still only 16 months from the time of diagnosis. And that just shows how bad a diagnosis pancreatic cancer can be because the, the mortality used to be so much faster. And now the median has been pushed out to 16 months. Part of the problem is it's frequently not diagnosed until it, it's already uh, metastasized. It's not one that has easy screening to pick up early, like colon cancer or breast cancer. And even then, they're not all picked up early, right? But pancreatic cancer is much harder from that standpoint. So the fact that a chemotherapy regimen has extended survival out to 16 months is pretty remarkable. Now, could a ketogenic diet push that even further? Who knows? But it's exciting that there are clinical trials going on. So if you know if you know somebody um, who has pancreatic cancer, uh, this is definitely something to look into. Now, the other part that makes this topic very timely for me is the Metabolic Health Summit is coming up um, in May in um, Santa Barbara, California, and that is a fantastic. Uh, conference where there's a lot of talk about the research going on with ketogenic therapies, with ketogenic diets, um, even exogenous ketones, and using this to treat uh, metabolic health, type 2 diabetes, but also sort of the cutting edge of neurologic treatments and cancer treatments. So they're going to be cancer research there, presenting their findings, talking about the future. And this is part of what makes uh, the future pretty exciting for, for ketogenic therapies um, and cancer. So I'm excited to hear more about that at the Metabolic Health Summit. If you want to find out more, you can go to metabolichealthsummit.com. The conference starts May 5th in Santa Barbara, California. I'll be there. Dr. Andreas Einfeld will be there uh, along with other diet doctor team members and of course a whole slew of leading researchers and clinicians when it comes to low carb and ketogenic therapy. So hope to see you there. Thanks a lot everybody. See you next time here on Diet Doctor News on YouTube.